more science videos. Here we have black hole star, the star that shouldn't exist. You know, I love Kurt Kazaa videos. But yeah, let's watch. Black hole stars may have been the largest stars that ever existed. They burned brighter than galaxies they don't exist and anymore? were larger than any star today or that could ever exist in the future. But besides their scale, what makes them special and weird is that deep inside, they were occupied by a cosmic parasite, an endlessly hungry black hole. How is that even possible? How, How do they even know this? So I feel like this channel has an endless portal black hole of knowledge. Stars take the weirdness of black holes and go beyond to break everything we know about how stars form and grow. They were only possible during a short window of time in the early universe, but if they existed, they would solve one of the largest mysteries of cosmology. Black hole stars were excessive any way you look at them. The most massive stars Whoa, today may have about 300 to? solar masses. A black hole star had up to 10 million solar masses of nearly pure hydrogen. Let's take a moment Yikes. to look at what this means visually. The Sun, Wesson, LL Pegasi, the largest star, and finally, the black hole star. Its scale is Whoa. beyond words. Over 800,000 times wider than our Sun, 380 times larger than the largest star we know today. And far below its surface is a black hole, growing rapidly as it devours billions upon billions of tons of matter per second. Normally, stars are born from gigantic clouds, collections of thousands or millions of... So yeah, that black hole is never going to finish that, that's for sure. These things don't exist. Any How do they disappear from the... I'm sure there's something out there, because... Obviously, you can't. We don't even know. We've never even been on Mars, so we can't be that sure because he's talking the about it like of a disappearing. Hydrogen. In these clouds, matter starts to accumulate around the densest spots inside. As these spots get denser, their gravitational pull intensifies and they grow faster. Eventually, they generate so much heat and pressure that they ignite fusion reactions and a new star is born. But this puts a limit on their size. Nuclear fusion releases enough radiation energy that the surrounding gas cloud is blown away. The new baby star can't gather more mass. From now on, the star is living on the edge between two forces. Gravity pulling in, trying to squash the star, and radiation created by fusion pushing outwards, trying to blow the star apart. After millions or billions of years, the core runs out of fuel and the balance breaks, destroying the star. But black hole stars the... were very, very different. The beasts of the early universe. A few hundred million years after uh. the Big Bang, when the universe was much smaller, all the matter in existence was much more concentrated. The universe was much denser and hotter. Dark matter was a dominant player, forming giant structures. Bro, this is like comparing modern day alligators to dinosaurs because it's like, oh, back when before the asteroid hit, we used to have a T-Rex and now look, we're reduced to an alligator. This is so weak. So I think this is the same comparison. Uh, So who took them out? I'm She's sure they don't just dark go away like halos. that. These dark matter halos were so massive that they pulled in and concentrated unimaginably gigantic amounts of hydrogen gas, becoming the birthplaces of the first stars and galaxies. Epic clouds of hydrogen formed, some as massive as 100 million suns, more than the mass of small galaxies. In this unique environment that will never exist again, the enormous gravitational pull of the dark matter halos drew gas into its center and created extremely massive stars. As we said before, when a star is born, it blows away the gas cloud. That... Bro, look, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. So look, look, about, you know, I've had this human evolution argument so many times, but look at this. So here we're talking about uh, black hole stars that are so big, like millions of times bigger than our sun. All this, and now we're humans now. All starts from this, and now we have 
me. We have a human with skin. You know, man, I you know I like science. I I like learning. But when you when we're talking when we bring human beings and life and this type of stuff, it's crazy. Cause look, nothing any living thing right now can be burned by this uh, ball of fire. So it's just like it's so impossible to just to think that. But we'll save that for another day. But for now, let's just watch but this. These titanic gas clouds in the early universe were so large and massive that even after their birth, more and more gas piled on the newborn star, making it grow to unbelievable proportions. The young star is forced to grow and grow and grow, getting more and more massive until in some cases it reaches up to 10 million times the mass of our sun. Crushed by gravity, its core gets hotter and hotter, desperately pushing outwards, trying to blow itself apart, but to no avail. There's too much mass and too much pressure. The balance is impossible to Ooh. uphold. Like a supernova run fast forward, the core gets crushed into a black hole. Normally, that would be the end. Today's stars go supernova, a black hole forms, and things calm down. But in this case, the star survives its own death. A tremendous explosion rocks the star from the inside, but it's not enough. The star is so large and massive that not even a supernova can destroy it. But now, it has a black hole for a heart. It's tiny, a few tens of kilometers in the center of a thing the size of the solar system. The monster grows. Stars are born from ever faster spinning and collapsing gas, what? and so they also spin. When a black hole is born from the core of a star, it keeps its angular momentum. This means that matter that gets drawn in doesn't just fall in a straight line, but instead begins orbiting the black hole in smaller and smaller circles, going faster and faster. The result is an accretion disk where gas orbits at nearly the speed of light. Only a what the oh this thing looks i don't know it's just i get i don't know i'm just so shocked and surprised and like i love the animation too everything in this video is just so it feels so mythical this is like a dream situation the way this stuff is working you, you never hear about this stuff i mean if you're not watching this video i don't think you'd know any of this past stars it feels like fossils in the universe up there that's so strange only a small amount of gas actually falls in at any given moment basically black holes put a lot of food on the table and only nibble at it but the matter trapped in the accretion disk doesn't have a good time friction and collisions between particles heated up to temperatures of millions of degrees Actively feeding black holes have accretion disks that are incredibly hot and powerful. This heat from the disk further restricts how much a black hole can devour, just like the core of stars. The super hot material creates radiation that blows away most of the food within its reach. So even if a black hole had access to as much food as it desired, it can only grow slowly. A black hole embedded inside a black hole star is different. The enormous pressure surrounding it pushes down matter directly into the black hole, overcoming all restrictions on how fast it can consume. Yeah, I was about to this say there's always like a there's always an outlier. It's just like it, it's just so strange. I was about to say that. Why didn't I say that? But yeah, anyways, they said it for me. And it's like um, I don't know because there's there has to be a point where the star eats the whole thing. I mean, the black hole eats the whole thing, and then it just disappears, I guess. That should be the ending. That so feels proper. And releases so much energy that the accretion disk becomes hotter and releases more radiation pressure than any star core ever could. Enough to push back against the weight of 10 million suns. I mean, I mean, ha, ha. An impossibly dangerous balance has been created. Millions of soda masses pushing in, the angry radiation of a force-fed black hole pushing out. For the next few million years, the black hole star is consumed from within. The black hole grows to thousands of solar masses, and the bigger it gets, the faster it eats, which heats up the star even more and causes it to expand. Oh, In I thought that made phase, it decrease. The black hole star has become over 30 times wider than our solar system. What? Truly the largest star to ever exist in the universe. 
the intense magnetic fields at its core spew out jets of plasma from the black hole's poles, which pierce through the star and shoot out into space, turning it into a cosmic beacon. It must have been one of the most awe-inducing sights to ever exist in the universe. But this also like marks the mini end. Big bang. It becomes too stretched and the accretion disk within too powerful. The parasite destroys its host, blowing it apart. A black hole with the mass of 100,000 suns rips its way out to hunt for new prey while leaving behind nothing but a star carcass. The supermassive question. You know, like, I'd expect, you know, I'm actually kind of disappointed in the result. You'd expect that thing was, it's 30 solar systems. That's insane. You'd expect that black hole to at least trim it down to a manageable size to, like, at least 10 solar systems. Because that black hole didn't seem that big. I mean, it's huge, but it's like a wasted, I don't know. It's like um when when they just kill rhinos for their horn and then they leave the whole meat, the whole rhino basically, and just take the horn. It's like what the black hole just did. It just took the horn and then left the whole sun. If black hole stars existed, they could explain one of the greatest mysteries of the universe. The supermassive black holes we see at the center of galaxies are just too big. They shouldn't be possible. Black holes born from regular supernovas can be a few tens of solar masses at most. And because of the process we explained before, they grow slowly after that. If black holes merge, they can form slightly larger black holes of over 100 solar masses. It should take billions and billions of years to make black holes with hundreds of thousands or even millions of solar masses. And yet, we know that some supermassive black holes already had 800 yeah, million solar beautiful. masses only 690 million years after the Big Bang. Black hole stars are a sort of black hole cheat code. If they formed very early in our universe, and the black holes that emerged from them were thousands of solar masses, then they could be the seeds for supermassive black holes. These seeds could take root in the center of the earliest galaxies, merging with others and drawing in enough matter to grow quickly and reliably. Very Does soon, that make, we though? may be able to verify their past existence. The James Webb Space Telescope is turning its sensors to explore the farthest reaches of the universe, looking back in time, back to the early universe that we couldn't see before. So, with luck, we might be able to witness glimpses of these tragic titans in the brief moment between their formation and destruction. Oh, so Until this is all then, theory. Let's do the visual journey again, just for fun. Stars are big, black hole stars bigger. Oh, I thought that was the black hole star, but yeah, this is this is just so scary. It just shows you how like unimportant you are. You're not important. Look at this. Oh. This just, just scares me. And this telescope, I don't really get how that, it goes back in time. So time travel, it, obviously it's not time travel, but I'm expect, okay, so this is just a theory for now, but it makes sense. These guys made me believe that, but that's just so, that's just so crazy to believe. Or the way it looks, I mean, it's like a, like, like a, it's like fantasy, a black hole star. 30, 30, you can't even see that, 30 galaxies, that's its own, that's its own thing. What is it orbiting? We know. It's so strange. I'm, at, I'm just, yeah, it shouldn't exist for sure. Yeah, that was so weird. That's, I, that's pretty interesting though. I'm not gonna lie. It's just like, it scares me, but at the same time, it makes me excited. I'm like, how? What what's this? Black hole star. That's a pretty that's an that's a neat idea though. If, imagine if it just kept running forever. Because if it's like as the star gets bigger and the black hole is just taking a bit of the mass 
it's getting that's like a perpetual motion like a relationship but yeah any of the black holes are just bad news and nothing destroys them apparently uh but yeah you guys tell me what you thought thank you and have a nice day uh thanks for watching and have a nice day. okay it's just nah there's no no outros